Hey guys, how's it going? I am here bringing you a brand new video. I haven't been able to make one in a while, and I'm sorry about that, but um, hopefully I can make up with it in the future. Um, I have some more time on my hands now. School is finishing, sort of. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right into this. This is a um, face swap tutorial for Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6. We're going to be using Robert Downey Jr.'s face and Justin Bieber's face. So how you want to start this out is just by um, having them open in two um, different projects and just go ahead and press L, which will pull up the lasso tool, which is over here. Um, and then you just want to go ahead and draw a thing around whoever's face you're doing. So let's just go ahead and do that. Good. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and Control C that, copy it, Command C if you're on Mac, and then we just want to paste it in here, Control T to transform, and then we basically want to um, first we want to drop the opacity, opacity, op opacity. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, right until we can see both of the layers, and then we can just go ahead and line it up so that the features are about in the same area as they would have been for that other person. So let's just try to line them up as best as you can. It's hard sometimes. But yeah, that's good enough. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So then what we want to go ahead and do next is just um, duplicate this bottom layer. Um, so there's two of them. And we can just drop the visibility for the bottom one. We'll talk about that later. So for this top layer, what we want to do is go ahead and press Control and just click the image, or you can right-click it and click Select Pixels, whichever one you prefer. And then you can go Select and you can go um, sorry Modify and Contract. And depending on the resolution and how much of the face you took, you can pick how much you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do five. Pixels. Yeah, so it's like it's almost getting cut off, but I think it's okay. So that'll be fine. And then you just want to go ahead and shut off the visibility for that. Um, click this ba um, background and just backspace. So now that's transparent. Um, you cannot see it through that. And then we can bring this back. So we can see now um, basically the middle one has no, like that spot where his face is supposed to be is not there. So from there, um, it gets really simple. We can just go ahead and control D to deselect the um, pixels. And then what you just want to go ahead and do is select both of these layers. And this is very simple. Photoshop will use magic. Go ahead, edit, and auto blend layers. Then you want to make sure panorama selected and seamless tones and colors is selected. Then just hit OK. And there, that's some Photoshop magic for you. Um, it basically auto contrasted all of the um, like the colors and everything, and uh, yeah, put it together. So you can use this for multiple faces. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, depending on the face you're trying to do. No, it's like that. Okay, yeah. So you can see that's what it would look like if they had a kid, I guess. Okay, I don't know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for watching. That's a very simple um, thing. You can probably you'll see that. Later on, some of my videos, I might do some Photoshop stuff and show it to you guys. But yeah, I hope it helped. I hope it was very simple. If you have any questions, if it's not working, anything you want to know, um, I forgot to tell you, but for the hair, um, it's hard if you're using like girls and stuff, it's hard to get the hair behind it, but you can just go ahead and use the lasso tool and put it on top of the image after it's done. But yeah, this is like a gist of um, how face swap would be done. And this is a very simple beginner's method. Um, there's more advanced methods, but this is very smooth and um, it works most of the time. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys.